Now we back. The potential meter in NBA 2K is always super fun. You turn someone's potential to 99 and boom, they went from an 80 overall to an 85 in just one singular year. Now, in previous years, we've gave everybody a 99 potential and that's cool and all, but what if I gave one random player on every NBA team a 99 overall? Could it change the trajectory of some organizations? Today we find out. The reason why this is going to be more fun than a 99 overall for everybody is because some teams, let's be honest, are going to get left in the dirt. For example, the Knicks have like 37-year-old Todd Gibson. If I make Todd Gibson a 99 potential, He's not going to get better. He's all, he's about to retire this season. So some teams are going to get that. Some teams are going to get the 15 best player on their roster to get the 99 potential. And typically the 15 best player on the roster is like a G League two-way player. You give him 99 potential, he not G League two-way no more. He might be MVP in a couple seasons. Hey, man, I appreciate it if you left a like on the video. Subscribe. If you are new around here, we are dropping bangers left and right. Name the best duos in the history of anything. You got peanut butter jelly. <laughs> I was gonna say Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan, but that ain't really working out. And you got Kenny in a random number generator, ladies and gentlemen. There's 15 players to a roster. The highest you can get is one. The lowest you can get is 15. And we're starting off with the Philadelphia 76ers and they're getting their eighth best player to 99 potential. Oh my God. Forcon Korkmaz, 23 year old sniper is getting 99 potential. Now, it was just at a 77, so he's going up to a 99, and he's one of the players that is still get better. Now, I was afraid that you was about to land on Danny Green, because Danny Green at 34 years old, he ain't getting no better. But Forcon Korkmaz? Danny Green, count your days. You might be starting right now, but give it one season. Forcon Korkmaz is going to be the best shooter on this. Uh, best shooter on the team is going to be hard when you got this player. He's going to be one of the best shooters on the team. Now, we got the Milwaukee Bucks, who are getting the 13th player. I'm going to go out on the limb and say that's Justin Robinson. Thanasis Antetokounmpo, the older of the brothers, something that they tell you every time they play on national TV. Now, believe it or not, Thanasis is the older of the two. We know. Everybody knows. And he's already 28, so I don't know. Maybe he'll end up getting as good as his brother, but he is, again, two years older, so we'll see. The Chicago Bulls are next. We already got an MVP candidate, DeMar DeRozan. You know what I'm saying? Can we get Kobe White or Patrick Williams to be better? Three. Ooh. Unfortunately, it's Nikola Vucevic. And at 30 years old, I'm just going to assume that he's not getting that much better. He already had an 85 potential to start off with. That's an L. The Cleveland Cavaliers are getting the fourth best player. One, two, three, four. It's it's Ricky Rubio. Now, real life Ricky Rubio, he been looking like a superstar out there. He been living very close to it. But it's unfortunate that he's already 30. You know what I'm saying? You could have almost got any other player. The only players you don't want is Ricky Rubio and Kevin Love. Everybody else on the team would have been better. Every, Literally every other player on the team, if you give them a 99, they was about to be a superstar in a few years. But you already got 30-year-old Ricky Rubio, who probably are not getting a, getting a lot better. Now we move on to the Cs. Is that cool? Can we call the Celtics the Cs? Yeah, right? We do that? We can do that? Okay, next. They get the second best player, which is Jalen Brown, who's only 24. He's an 87 overall right now. He already had 90 potential, but you think that the Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum matchup or, or a combination is about to be amazing? Now, it's going to be even more amazing because Jalen Brown's going to end up as the better of the two <laughs> after today. Clip gang or don't bang. I like saying that. And people were mad at me in my comments say, oh, number five is Reggie Jackson. That's He's 31 already. People were mad at me in my comment section because I was saying that. Like Kenny, us Clippers fans don't say that. I, I don't. I really don't. Care. I really don't care. I think it's funny, so I'm gonna keep saying it. Memphis Grizzlies have a bunch of young talent. Who's gonna be the guy to get the boost? The 14th. Ooh, it's Sam Morrell. I like the idea of the 14th best player getting the boost. Now he low key. I don't know. He was already 25. I, in my mind, he was like 22, but he did come in. You know, drafted last pick in a draft class, and I'm pretty sure he was a four-year college athlete. So. We'll see. We'll see if um, he gets better. But at 25, he might have already hit his peak, believe it or not. The Hawks would love Cam Reddish or DeAndre Hunter. They get the fifth player. Who might be one of those dudes? It is Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish has recently got an upgrade. And him and DeAndre Hunter are the same overall. Um, so DeAndre Hunter, count your days, my boy. You might be headed to the bench because Cam Reddish is here. He already had an 80. Oh, he already had an 80. So this 99 is really going to get Cam to be... Well, I remember when Cam was in high school and early college, they were saying he was the next Paul George. He was 6'8". He had the handle of a guard. He can play defense. He can shoot a little bit. And now he might end up being Paul George 2.0. Miami Heat is one of the older teams in the league, but they still got like Tyler Hero. So maybe T Hero. Nope, it's literally the worst player on the roster. Is that going to be Udonis Haslam? That would be super unlucky. It's Gabe Vincent. Okay. 
you know, he's only 25 years old. Potential's only at a 73. He might turn into a quality role player and help them win a championship. And they're getting the 11th player, Jalen McDaniels. I love this. Y'all know, if you watch my Kenny For Real channel, I am a big fan of the McDaniel brothers. And now this guy's about to be elite, elite. Jalen McDaniels, welcome to... I mean, at the power forward position, you're not taking Miles Bridges' spot. But, but one of y'all can play small forward. You can get rid of Gordon Hayward or something. I don't know. You know, I'm not the GM of the team. I'm not saying how to build it. But I'm saying he's going to be pretty solid in a few years. At this point in NBA 2K22, Rudy Gobert is the better player between him and Donovan Mitchell. Rudy Gobert is at 89 and Donovan Mitchell is an 88. Let's see if they can get a third star with them. It's going to be the 14th player. And that is Elijah Hughes. I would like to think that I am a pretty good person when it comes to knowing what college players go went to. I have no idea where Elijah... He went to Syracuse. The more you know. All right, I will never forget that. The next time Elijah Hughes comes up in the video, I will say he went to Syracuse. I will not forget it. I promise. Sacramento Kings can use some help, and it's going to be the 13th best player. That's going to be Mo Harkless. That's unfortunate for them. He's already 28. But if you like the Sacramento Kings, or even if you don't like the Sacramento Kings, but you want to see them get out of that 15, 70-year slump that they've been in in the playoffs... On my third channel, we have a, we have a, a, a whole My NBA series. Apparently, you like My NBA because you watched this video. So go ahead, hit that link, and go to the Kenny Two channel. Uh, y'all be just looking at my plugs, and y'all don't even be hitting that link in the description. I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it, but y'all don't be listening. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously, I leave a like. Now we get the fifth best player for the Knicks, Evan Fournier. It would have been cool to get Mitchell Robinson, but it's gonna be Evan Fournier. Hmm, the Lake Show. Who are y'all getting to make y'all better? The eighth player. Oh my God! If it was Talon Talon Horton Tucker, Talon Horton Tucker, or Malik Monk, y'all would've been golden. But instead, it ended up being DeAndre Jordan, who in real life don't even get PT no more unless he is uh, it's garbage time. So, uh, good luck with that Lake Show. Orlando Magic has nothing but young players other than, um, who am I looking at? Terrence Ross. If this lands on the number five, it's got to be the most unluckiest thing in the world. It's 14. I also want to see, like, a, a Jalen Suggs get it. You know what I'm saying? A player that already got decent potential, but we elevate him. But nah, it want to be the 14th player. And it's eat one more. I did, I'm going to keep it a whole buck with you. I had no idea eat one more played here. I had... No idea. Is he even? He's probably not even playing. Has not touched the floor this season. So W for me. I mean the L for him. <laughs> you do want to play. Um, but W for me because I didn't know he was playing because he's not. Next we have the Dallas Mavericks. Their next breakout star is the fifth best player. Oh snap! I had no idea that they had. They have Moses Brown as the fifth best player on this team. Better than Dorian Finney Smith. I guess Dorian Finney Smith has been struggling this season for sure. Um, but Moses Brown. He is the next big thing. Now, he's on the last year of his contract, too. So, he might go out there, hoop, get better, and get paid. 2K's version of Brooklyn don't need no help. But if they get Cam Thomas to be better, and number nine seems about what Cam Thomas could be, I'm going to be upset. Never mind. It is 32-year-old Blake Griffin. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to turn him into um, Lob City Blake. Denver Nuggets have the best... Pl okay. Okay, Jokic is getting... 99 he might already have 99 potential he had 95 and now it's 99 indiana can use some help they get the 13th player which is kaylin martin okay 25 years old we'll see what that means for them part of me when i keep seeing all these older players get picked i want something to happen for these older players you know what i'm saying do i reset the clock on blake griffin do i make him younger with this 99 potential it's my video i'm, I'm doing it on the fly for the players that are that are older that get the 99 potential i will reset their clock a little bit blake griffin he's back to 23 years old and i will go back and do that for everybody just i, I just won't show you pelicans 12th player now this is what i'm here for kyra lewis jr potential was at an 80 my boy they are gonna be giving you the keys to that point guard position in just a few years. You're not that far off, honestly. That's like two years. Y'all don't understand 99 potential with 99 progression, because I don't know if I said that either. 99 potential with 99 progression might have my boy jump up 10 and just, I mean, maybe 12 in just one season, two seasons, I don't know. This is also a brand new 2K and I haven't tested this. So it might not even, I might be doing this whole video and there's no change. Now we got the, um, the pay, uh, Pistons. Luca Garza. He's about to be turned into the college version of himself, but in the NBA form. Go here, stretch five, Luca Garza. 99 potential, no face scan. The Raptors are getting the 14th player. Isaac Bunga, I'm here for this. Laker Nation, I'm making all of your dreams a reality. I remember uh, Isaac Bunga, and yes, we pronounce it Isaac and not Isaac around here. Um, He had the lowest overall card in NBA 2K18, if I'm not mistaken, in my team. And because of that, he got memed a lot. And now... 
he might turn into the GOAT. Yep, another 6'8 wing that can play with the Raptors. It's not, you know what I'm saying? They already got a million of them. Just add one more. Rockets get the best player. Ooh, that's Christian Wood. Um, and Christian Wood's potential is an 83. So, like, 2K be having Christian Wood be good for one season. Then a the season after that, he be averaging like 12. Not anymore. 99 potential. He gonna be in an all-star game, maybe. Hopefully. Spurs, they're getting a 12th player. Trey Jones. I'm here for this. He's a 21-year-old guy. Young guy. I don't know what his ceiling is at, but he's got 99 potential. Now, the Suns, from NBA Finals to having the 14th best player be one of the big players on the team. Aha! Another former lottery pick who hasn't really had an opportunity to do much in his career just yet. I actually really like Jalen Green coming out of Maryland, and he was one of my favorite players in that draft class. So now, we're going to get that full potential of him, ladies and gentlemen. I think in real life, they didn't even pick up his rookie option, so he's going to be a free agent in real life. <laughs> From a lottery pick to free agent just like that. But hey, now he can be one of the GOATs. OKC okay, has nothing but young players. And they're getting the seventh player to be the new GOAT. Isaiah Roby. Shout out to the homie. I think I've told the story about the barbershop <laughs> on this channel somewhere. So go watch every single one of my videos until you hear the story about me and Isaiah Roby at a barbershop. Go watch every one of them until you find the video. Do that? OK, cool. The Timberwolves are getting the sixth player. They can use some help. This might be... Oh my God. It's Nas Reed. Let's go. Everybody knows that I love Nas Reed off the bench. And Carl Anthony Towns, well, you know what? They could probably run together at 6'9", and then Carl Anthony Towns at 6'11". They've been looking for that power four, and I guess in real life they kind of found it, and, and these two dudes playing a lot of the power four minutes. But in the game of 2K, 99 potential Nas Reed might be goaded. Trailblazers, 14th, CJLB. Now, we got the Warriors. If they get Moses Moody or Jonathan Kaminga or James Wiseman to hit 99 potential, GG's to the league. They're winning seven in a row. They're getting the fifth best player. It's Nemanja Bjelica. There you go. Um, a better center than James Wiseman in the game so far. And he's going to stay that way now because he's got 99 potential. Let's go over to Nemanja Bjelica at 99 potential. And guess what? He's back young again. I don't even remember Nemanja Bjelica when he was that young because he wasn't in the league. He came over in 2015. The more you know. Last team, Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards, one of the surprising teams in the league right now. They get the third best player, which is Kuz. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, I, I remember when Kyle Kuzma was a rookie. And they were comparing him to rookie Jason Tatum. And they were like, who would you rather have? Because Kyle Kuzma was about to be a star -er. And he didn't turn out to be a star, -er, but now he could. He absolutely could turn into a star. -er. Let's see how much our 99 overall players will jump. Because again, I haven't tested this. I don't even know if that potential stuff even matters this year. So the Bulls had Vucevic as the perk. I forgot to load in the right. <laughs> I forgot to load in the roster that we created. I'm like, why is Vucevic back to 31 years old? So I just simulated the whole season for nothing? Ladies and gentlemen, I am about three years since that moment. I realized I had a major flaw in my experiment slash video that's going to make us redo the actual experiments. Let me let me show you. Let me show you what I missed out on or what I forgot about in the realm of NBA 2K. Because the problem I was just running into where we were having players, our 99 potential players, not get better. Four Con Cork Monsters, 23. And after three years... Where'd he go? He went from a 76 to a 79. 99 potential? Are you kidding me? But what I forgot to do is for all 30 of these players, I have to go in, change their peak. So good for him. His peak is already there. But the minimum and maximum potential have to go higher. Me straight up saying, hey, his potential goes to 99 is not going to cut it no more. I need his max potential and his minimum potential to be 99, and his bust percentage to be one or zero. So after this, and I do this for all 30 of our players that we gave 99 potential to, then we should see, we should see some progression. It'll take a while. We can finally, like, actually, actually start the video, I hope. If this don't work, it's wraps. That's it. I've, I've done everything. I got the potential high. I got the ceilings high. I got the minimum potential high. I got the maximum potential 99. Everything should point to those players being elite, elite. Yes! Vucevic jumps up seven. Okay, 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 okay. Four Con Cork Moss up six. Um, the Nasses went to another team again. Cool, cool, cool. 
Um, Ricky Rubio gone. Oh, snap. These players are switching teams. Jalen Brown did not, did not move. Hey, hey, everybody can't be better. Wow. Um, Reggie Jackson. I see you, Reggie. Okay, Jaron wasn't the player. I'm like, ooh, Jaron a five. That wasn't even our player. It was Sam Morrell, who's a five as well. Okay, he's a role player now. Then we get Cam Reddish is gone. Oh, wait, no. I'm, I'm an idiot. I went right past them. Okay, Cam Reddish is up five. Okay, okay, okay. Um, They got Corey um, uh, Hardaway. That's not who it is. I, I forget who's even on this team, but he's not there anymore. Then we move on. A lot of the players have Swiss teams, y'all. It was McDaniels. McDan oh, no, he's there. He didn't get better, though. He didn't get better. Though. Everybody's not going to get better. Okay, where's Elijah Hughes? Different team. Kings. Mo Harkless, up five. Okay, this is... Yes, up six for yes. The Lakers have literally six people on their team. Just six. They got six... Free AC is over. They only got six people. Marvin Bagley is here. Okay, that's interesting. Etwan Moore is a guy for that team. He is gone... The Moses Brown show. Ooh, 7 2 and 7 3 front court. Nobody mess, messing with that. And he went from an F shooter to a D minus shooter. Y'all better, hey, y'all better look out. Blake Griffin, gone. Um, Nicole Jokic, up by three. Yes, this is what this video is supposed to be about. Nabani Bialitsa, up by six. And then it was Keelan Martin, right? He's gone. Okay, Pelicans. It was, it was Kira Lewis Jr., up by five. Pistons. I thought it was K, but it wasn't. I forget who it was. Oh, no, it was it was Luca Garza, who's got two badges now. I don't think he had any badges last time we saw. Isaac Bonga, where you at? Isaac Bonga gone. I feel like some of these players are just going to be in free agency. Christian Wood up by six. They also have DeAndre Aiden, so the world is kind of wild. Ricky Rubio with the Spurs. Why does that make sense to me? Why do I feel like that's a that that makes sense? I could see him in the Spurs jersey. Okay, the, wait, do they have anybody else? Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they had Trey Jones. So, Jalen Smith goes up by three. Okay, Isaiah Roby up by five. Timberwolves. Nas Reed is up while Carnegie Towns is dropping. Listen here, old man. The future is now. And his, his name is, is Nas Reed. Um, and then the Monty Bielitz is gone. And Kyle Kuzma jumps up six. Whoa, okay. That's pretty big for year number one. Now, we're going multiple years. We want to see if some of these players can change the, the course of the NBA, you know, with them getting better and better every single season. Right. So, let's go over here. Any of our players in free agency, I think the best way to figure this out is go straight over to potential and then sort. Etwan Moore and Elijah Hughes have no contracts. The Nassis Antetokounmpo, no contracts. Part of it is the fact that he wants $24 million. I can't help you there. Will we see one of those players ended up winning an award? Pascal Siakam is a six man. Anthony Davis, the best player of the year. DeAndre Jordan, there we go. DeAndre Jordan was one of our 99 potential guys. We made him back to 22 again. And last year, he averaged four on the Lakers. Then he got a starting spot at 82 overall. And now he's starting with Zion. Um, don't really love the spacing on that. But hey, any of our players make all NBA. Vucevic, all NBA second team at just 25 years old. That's beautiful. Zach Levine is here as well. That's also beautiful. Can you tell what my favorite team is? You, do you know? Would you take? You could take a guess. Yep. Whatever you said, I'm I'm a fan of that team. It don't matter. And the champions are going to be the 76ers, which means that Forkan Korkmaz was the guy, 83 overall, and he did his thing, and they win the championship. Versus, I don't know if you saw that, the Houston Rockets. That's um that's the Christian Wood team who was almost at a 90. All right, your number two progression. I'm not gonna show every single player that progressed, but we're gonna look at some of the best ones. Four con up five. Beautiful. Sam Morell is about to be one of the best six men in the entire league behind John Murray. He's up six. Cam Reddish is is fighting with Trey Young to figure out whose team is it. Now his shot tendency is pretty low, isn't it? Oh, it's actually above average. Why is he only averaging 14 points per game? I don't know. Maybe that's going up now that he's a 90. Nemanja Bjelica is one of the best players on the, on, on, in the NBA. He is the highest overall player on the Orlando Magic. Nemanja Bjelica. What did you average? 15 points per. I'm guessing his shooting tendency is pretty low. It's above average. You, I can't complain about that. Isaiah Roby is now with Moses Brown and Luka. They just stacking up on centers. But Isaiah Roby is more of a four anyway. You know what I'm saying? He's only 6'8 and he shoots the ball very, very well. His shot tendency is a little above average. Everybody's like just slightly above average. Moses Brown, double-double machine. Okay, I see you. Kira Lewis Jr. goes up. Kyra Lewis Jr. I, keep, I always want to say Kira for some reason. Kyra Lewis Jr. goes up eight. That is the most we've seen so far. Christian Wood is plateaued. And he's, he's back in Detroit. So that's 
good, I guess. I mean, hey, they got about 290 overall. It's close to it, at least. Okay, everybody else associated with this challenge only went up by like three or so, which is still good if you, when you think about us doing multiple, multiple years, but nothing uh, to write home about. The thing I want to look at is I'm guessing a lot of players are in free agency. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? For the sake of this video, just so we can make sure those players have teams, contracts, salary cap off. Go sign to whoever you want for however much you want. Ah, uh, we should end the video right here in just no context. Vucevic, MVP. Um, Russell Westbrook is the sixth man behind Stephen Curry. That's interesting there. Um, Okay, all NBA teams. Vucevic, obviously on first team. He won MVP. Second team. All right, nobody from our thing. And third team. Hey, it's still just the people that you expect. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Simulating year number three, I think, or year number four. I don't even know. It's all rubbing together. And it is the Luka, Moses, and Isaiah Roby show that win the finals MVP or finals championship. Maybe one more year after this to see, to see what's going on. I'm curious to see how good Nemanja Bialica could get. That's what this video has turned into. How good could Nemanja Bialica get? Vucevic is already up to a 97. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Kawhi Leonard is here. But Fort Con Korkmaz is not very interesting. As you can see, a lot of the players have, like, kind of... Carl Anthony Towns, different team. Did you sign here? He did. Um, Sam Morrell, to plus five. Cam Reddish, it's his team. Trey Young, who's starting to get better at the age of 25 for some reason in 2K. It is the Cam Reddish show. He's only averaging 18, though. I, do I need to mess with your tendencies, bro? Like, come on, you too, you too talented to only be averaging that. See, look, like, Evan Fournier got 99 potential from us, and he's only uh, 87. Like, he has plateaued about there. Cal Kuz was back in L.A., and he has plateaued. So that's what we're seeing. The might be led to up to a 94. And, yeah, it seems like majority of the players that we evaluated and changed up have plateaued. I was going to say let this be the last year, but some of these dudes are still hooping and still getting better. So, you know what? We got one more season after, after this season because I need to see if anybody's going to join the 99 club. Because if you didn't know, 2K is very stingy with 99. In the history of this game, they gave one player 100, and that was Shaq. Um, and they've only gave a few people in between that 99s. And even in this game, I've tried to see an exper doing experiments like outside of the other videos to see if people can get to 99. And what I have seen is that most people get to 98, and that's wraps. So, you know what? In two years, let's see if... Kyra Lewis Jr. or Trey Jones can hit 99. They're the closest people, it seems like. You know what I'm saying? Another day at the office for Nikola Vucevic. You know what I'm saying? Most improved player, Compazzo. Shot Tennessee is at a 30, by the way. And he averaged six points and shot worse from the field. And they was like, he's the most improved. I don't get votes in these type of things. <laughs> the champion this year is going to Nemanja Bialica, who is the greatest player of all time. You love to see it. Nemanja Bielitsa. That was the purpose of this video. So y'all can all appreciate Nemanja Bielitsa. Very, very simple. That was my whole purpose. And now that we've done this, we might as well end off the video. No, but the purpose of this video was for somebody to hit 99 overall or 99 potential and then end up winning like a finals MVP or changing the trajectory of an organization. And when Nemanja Bielitsa turned for um, uh, Etuan Moore is great. He turned the Orlando Magic to a, from a bottom feed or rebuilding team to NBA champions in just like three years. You know what I'm saying? But the rest of these dudes, they're still going up a decent amount. So one more year should be good. I mean, we basically just turned Vucevic to a 99. Now, I don't know. I don't know if that's morale 99 or actual 99. But it's like Vucevic joined the 99 club. Again, I don't know if it's morale or actual. But we're about to find out in a second once we look at... Um, yes, okay, Jalen Smith. I was about to say, if we don't get another player, then, then I'm going to be blue. Okay, who's going to win this championship this season? It's going to be... Not Nemanja Bielitsa again, huh? Nope. But he did make it to the finals, but instead it's Jalen Green, and he is playing with nobody else associated with this video. He actually hit 99 club. Wow. Um, that's insane, low-key. So we got Cam Reddish, who was a 98. And look, look at his numbers. Okay, so it got significantly better after the last time we talked about him. So there's that. We got a couple players at 97s, but only one hit the 99 club. And that was our guy, Vucevic. Sam Morrell went from the last pick in the NBA draft to a 94 overall. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. Be sure to use the comment section as a suggestion board. We're always looking for new challenges slash videos to film. And I'll see y'all tomorrow.